today my topic is relation between d e and p or prove that d is equal to epsilon naught e plus p or p is equal to epsilon naught into epsilon r minus 1 into a or p is equal to 1 plus psi so this topic is belongs to dielectrics first of all i have to know what is d this is rough work this is uh, displacement vector okay. the formula of d is q by 4 pi into r square and e is equal to electric field strength electric field strength that is e is equal to q by 4 pi epsilon naught into r square Next, p is equal to polarization polarization that is p is equal to q dash pi 4 pi epsilon naught epsilon into r square so polarization uh, p is equal to q dash by 4 pi epsilon naught or sometimes maybe epsilon or epsilon naught r square now let us uh, discuss about proof according to Gauss law the outward flux from closure surface is equals to 1 by epsilon naught times the total charge present in the surface the formula is integral of e dot dA is equal to 1 by epsilon naught into Q this is called permittivity of free space and the Q means charge dA means a unit area E means electric field strength. Now apply this phenomenon to a parallel plate capacitor. Let us assume this is a parallel plate capacitor which is positively charged in this plate and this plate is uh, negatively charged. Then the field, the field strength acts from positive plate to negative plate that is E naught. This is called Gaussian surface. Gaussian surface. Surface means this is an imaginary surface. The empty space is taken as a surface. Now, first of all, take this, then apply this situation to this equation. Then this E becomes E naught into dA is equal to Q by epsilon naught. The integral is as this, then E naught into A is equal to Q by epsilon naught, then E naught is equal to Q by A epsilon naught. This is equation number 1. This is equation number 1. Then here the condition is there is no dielectric. Now introduce dielectric material in the parallel plates like this. Now these are parallel plates this positive and negative here it gives e e naught then if a dielectric is placed like this then this is positive plate this surface becomes negative this is positive the plates are positive here this plate is negative, this is negative, this surface of dielectric becomes positive. Then it develops 
an electric field E. Again, it's the applied again applied electric field due to polarization. Then again, we have to take the formula gas uh, law. This is E dot D A is equal to Q by epsilon naught. Then this Q by epsilon naught becomes Q minus Q dash because the induced EMF that means it generates charges of a Q dash within the dielectric. So that means the Q dash also opposite to the that means Q charge flows from lower plate to upper plate but here the upper surface to lower surface of the dielectric uh, the Q dash flows then this is the equation then E dot A is equal to E dot A is equal to Q minus Q dash by A E is equal to A epsilon naught this is equation number but the dielectric constant the dielectric constant epsilon r is equal to epsilon by epsilon r that means permittivity of the medium the ratio of permittivity of the medium to the ratio of the permittivity of free space this can be written as E naught by E says equation number 3 this is uh, of course from this we have to take uh, this epsilon and uh, E values epsilon r is equal to E naught by E then E is equal to E naught by epsilon r this is equation number Three. Now put equation one in equation three. We get this is, this is equation one. E naught is equal to Q by A epsilon. So this E is equal to Q naught by A epsilon into epsilon r a epsilon naught into epsilon r this is equation number one this is equation number four now equate now equate equation two and equation four so equate equation two one equation four we get Q minus Q dash by A into epsilon naught is equal to Q by A epsilon naught epsilon naught. So this can be written as Q minus Q dash by A epsilon naught. This is equal to epsilon naught epsilon naught is equal to Q by A epsilon. Q by A epsilon naught minus Q dash by A epsilon naught is equal to Q by A epsilon. Now put this equation in this here Q by A epsilon naught is equal to Q by A epsilon plus q dash by a epsilon naught now divide now remove multiply with epsilon naught both sides then q by a epsilon naught so multiply epsilon naught is equal to q by epsilon naught into a epsilon 
plus epsilon naught into q dash by a epsilon naught. Then these two, these two will be cancelled. This is q by a that is equal to epsilon naught q by a epsilon plus q dash by a epsilon. Here q by a, q by a means q by uh, if I took 4 pi r square means q by 4 pi r square then this is d q by a means d is equal to epsilon naught into q by a epsilon means e plus q dash by a q dash means due to polarization that is p and this is the required equation the further solving this equation we will be getting two more equations which are very important we know d is equal to epsilon into e displacement vector is equal to epsilon into electric field strength that is epsilon e now put this epsilon e in this equation is equal to Epsilon naught e plus p. Now epsilon means epsilon naught into epsilon naught. We can write is equal to epsilon naught into e plus p. Then p is equal to epsilon naught epsilon r e minus epsilon naught into e. Then if I put this value here then this minus this then that is equal to if I took epsilon naught as common factor then epsilon r minus 1 into e then the polarization is equal to the permittivity of free space relative permeability or dielectric constant and this is e electric field strength now if I took this as again I am writing this equation here epsilon naught epsilon naught into e is equal to epsilon naught into e plus p then epsilon naught is equal to epsilon naught into e by epsilon naught into e plus p by epsilon naught into e that is equal to 1 plus p by epsilon naught into e R and epsilon r is equal to 1 plus xi xi means susceptibility then susceptibility is nothing but p by epsilon naught into e then the ratio of polarization and the electric field strength with the permittivity of free space so these three equations also very important for solving further equations okay so this is the question actual question this question ask the question may ask like this relation between the EP and the prove like this show show that or prove that like I prove this this and this so displacement vector this is uh, if I took 4 pi as common factor then it can be written as q by r square r square means a this is q by a if we consider as constant like that now this is the description of uh, gas law this is gas law formula this is parallel plate applied this concept with to this uh, parallel plate and i got these equations here i got e naught then I converted this E naught into E in the equation 3. Now this is without dielectric. This is with dielectric. And I got this equation with dielectric. With dielectric constant, I wrote this equation. Basing on this, the relation between E and E naught. Then I converted uh, equation 1 into this equation E. Then I equated these two equations. 
and are divided like this or left and right is divided like this then I multiplied with epsilon naught both sides then I got this equation so I have to remember that q by a is d q by epsilon a epsilon is e q dash by a is p okay. this is the solution further by applying this formula we get this equation and uh, from here we solve then we get this equation this is very important for uh, first B.Tech uh, engineering physics students and uh, B.Sc also thank you we practice here practice this once thank you